Hello and welcome to our antique show. Today we have some wonderful people that stopped by to have their lovely antiques appraised and valued by us. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Now, our first couple, how are y'all doing? Good? Well, that's good. Now, tell me a little about this beast. Was it been in your family long? Oh, I see. Very nice. Yes, it's always nice to find pieces that uh, have been in their family for generations. And as you can see, this is a very, very rare and unique piece. This is actually an antique Oswald clock. It's made in Germany. And as you can see, the detail is quite fantastic. Now this particular clock tells the time from the eyes. So see there is slots for the hours and slots for the minutes. Now this particular clock is in wonderful condition. I don't see any cracks or breaks or anything like that, which is ideal when when collectors are searching for a piece like this. Now Oswald actually made a variety of different clocks like these that had the moving eyes for the motions for the time, but this, the skull clock was by far the most sought after and rare and valuable of all of them. Very beautiful piece. All handmade out of wood, as you can see, all carved. Even the eyes are also made out of wood. It's very nice. Now, if I had to put a value on this particular piece for insurance purposes, I would say the value would be anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that's more than uh, you expected. It's definitely a wonderful piece, and um, we tried working earlier and. Uh, yeah, it's in fantastic working condition, so we really, really uh, appreciate you bringing that in for us today to look at and to appraise. All right, well, it was a pleasure and nice meeting you all, so yeah, y'all have a good day. Now, let's move on to our next item, which is also a very nice piece here. Now we have a family who's come a long ways <laughs> from all the way across the United States to come and to the show today. So how are y'all doing? Well, good. That's very good to hear. Now, is this something you've had for uh, a long time or? Oh, okay, I see. Something you picked up not too long ago from an antique store. Well, it's a very, very cool piece. Um, as you can see, it has a removable tray. Let's get a view of that. And it has the original key. Very nice. Put that back in there. Get the slide chest right in there. So this piece actually came from India. About late 40s, about 1945 to 1950. And this was actually a kind of a, a souvenir that you could buy, you know, people who visited and tourists could, but it's actually a piece that has become quite collectible with all the hand inlaid work that has been done to it, as you can see. Very, very nice craftsmanship. And we'll turn it to the side. As you can see, it's just absolutely in flawless condition. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Yes, these are highly collectible. It wasn't until recently that they um, became kind of sought after. Here's, you know, the, not real old, but still has enough age on it. And uh, yeah, I, you know, if I was to appraise this piece, I would put a value of probably about two fifty to three hundred dollars. Oh, really? Wow, you only paid twenty dollars. Well. 
you definitely got a steal with that one. <laughs> it's always uh, always nice when you can find a little diamond like that, and but definitely definitely a nice piece. But we really appreciate you bringing that into it today for us. So thank you, and uh, y'all enjoy and keep it safe. And now on to our next piece. Now this piece is quite unique. This piece has been also handmade. It's actually all out of clay. If you see on the bottom, you can see yeah, actually it's all made of clay. All hand done, hand painted. Very nice. So is this a piece that uh, that was passed down to your family or just something you acquired recently or, or bought? Oh, I see. Wow. Well, that is very, very cool. Belong to your grandfather. Yeah, it's always nice to see pieces that are passed down through the family and that are actually taken care of and and looked after. This particular piece was actually made in China. There are several different varieties of these pieces. This is kind of the one that's a little more sought after as it has normally it's just one man. Or also it was sometimes a man and like different animals that were carved out of clay. But this one is definitely um, different and unique. And the glares makes it a little hard to see but as you can see the detail even of the faces very very cool piece but yes this piece was made in China and about I talked to my associate earlier and I believe we put a date on it about late 1800s to about <clears throat> early 1900s, 1905, somewhere around there. So, you know, pretty early piece. And uh, now we haven't had a whole lot of these come in. In fact, it's been a lot of years since we've actually seen one. So as far as an appraisal, we had to kind of look back at, at uh, auctions that have taken place over the past five years and there's been a few that popped up that were in this kind of condition and that were this particular piece and they sold from anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 so very rare very nice piece yeah <laughs> that's great well I'm glad it's more than uh, than you thought that's that's awesome <clears throat> well, we really appreciate you bringing that in to us today, and uh, it was really a, a privilege to get to look at it and uh, praise it. So thank you for that. All right, now on to our, our final piece for the day. Now this particular piece was all hand done out of rope. Let's turn it this way. And now, the lovely uh, lady that brought this into this today, can you um, tell me a little more about it? Okay. Oh, I see. Wow. So, you actually purchased this when you were in China many years ago from an antique shop there. Well, that's very, very cool. Let's see if we can get all of that in there. Um, that's that's very cool. Yes, these pieces are are quite unique. Um, you, you see the craftsmanship. It is all made out of rope. Every little detail, the tail to the feet, everything. And um, yeah, these. Uh, it's actually a larger piece than I've seen. Most of them were quite a bit smaller, about maybe half that size, maybe a quarter 
of the size of this one. So, um, yes, that's a very, very nice piece. Now, this particular piece, it was made in China about 1920s. There was actually an artist that, um, that made these. Um, and he made them to actually sell, kind of as a souvenir, but he actually sold them in his personal shop. And, um, like I said, handmade all of them. Took, as you could probably tell, many hours, if not days, to, to do all this. I mean, just exquisite craftsmanship. The detail in the mouth and the tongue just pretty awesome so um, well I also had to talk to my associate about this one and this was kind of a hard one to put a price on because we've actually never seen one this particular size with this much detail but we actually we appraised it at about 1500 to 1800 Yes, it's a very nice piece. If you're going to insure it, I would probably insure it, you know, upwards of two thousand. But um, but it's very very nice piece. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, you did uh, fairly well on it, didn't you? That's good. Well, we really appreciate you bringing it in, and uh, it has been a privilege to to get to look at all these items, and we're glad everyone who could show up could show up today, and um. Well, thank you, and have a good one. Until the next one, goodbye.